So really quick guys, before I actually begin and start doing all of that, uh, for the people that just kind of want to skip ahead and all that stuff, obviously you guys can click the rest of the videos on the series because I'm going to try to release them all at the same time. But basically, if you guys go and just kind of kind of skip ahead and try to do it on your own, if you guys go to the Big Boost website, go under install guides, go to N55 F chassis install guide or click on whatever one you have because they do have the E chassis and the B58. So N55 F chassis. Uh, Dropbox, that's up to you. I'm going to just continue on the website. It gives you a full-on, like, tutorial with pictures, which is crazy, uh, of what to do and how to install it. Cool, so I went ahead and cleaned up the table. So now this is everything that the Big Boost kit came with. Uh, so step one, it says to bolt on the manifold and the turbo together. All I'm going to do is go ahead and remove these put the turbo in and then bolt it back on. I'm gonna hand tighten them. It didn't specify if they're supposed to be torqued down. Um, I wish it would have told me exactly like how much to torque down because uh, I just feel more comfortable when every single bolt is torqued down the spec. But unfortunately, I mean, it doesn't really say that. So uh, it's just gonna be hand tightened as much as I, as I can, but obviously not too much. That way I don't strip anything. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, it is really heavy and it's super scary right now because that turbo has to fit through there without hitting any of the pins. And you did it right from the start. This is huge. I'm so excited. Um, I tightened all the nuts. Um, there is one that does not fit, which is directly like right here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just, let me get some light. That way you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. Uh, the kit comes with a shortened nut. Just make sure to look inside your little uh, bag that comes with it. So th this is the OEM style. And this is the one that comes um, with the kit. And it's just one that you have to replace because like the turbo gets in the way. So now that's that's all done, uh, I'm gonna put the main housing of the turbo. Well, I really don't know what it's called, but like the face of it. Um, I don't know the exact terms of every single piece, but we're gonna be putting that back. That would be the next step, which I have it right here. And then there should be six bolts and three of these brackets. Hopefully the people that are watching this video, I'm able to help you guys just a little bit more um, getting a, a real explanation of how to get this installed. Like I said, there, I haven't seen anybody install the kit or do some kind of DIY. Uh, I'm really trying to get every single thing across, explain how I'm doing things. So it's been about a day, just letting you guys know, like updating you guys. Uh, we are continuing with the next part. I believe the last thing I talked about is me putting the actual housing of the turbo on. Uh, putting this on, putting the bolts on, this one wasn't too bad, it's just the back two were a little bit complicated, just kind of reaching in there. Um, and then now I'm over here, so this is the oil return line. Um, the kit came with a 5 8 um, hose, uh, it's a heat resistant, obviously it's going to be able to handle the, the pressure and everything. Um, as you guys can tell, it's a little bit off, the only thing I realized literally right now, uh, let me take it off and let me show you guys. So, it's supposed to be like this, right? And then let me take it off because it's not really holding onto this. As you guys can tell, it's literally just like sitting on it, but it's not really on it. Okay, so back again to what I was talking about. Uh, as you guys can tell, we use the one that comes with the kit and it's not really like fitting properly. I, I know um, O'Reilly's, uh, Napa, I believe AutoZone as well, sells hoses. They're heat resistant, they can handle a good amount of PSI flow. Um, this one's a heat resistant 325 psi um, a hose and it's the 5 8 and it's so it's the same thickness and everything I feel like I should be fine with this one I'm just gonna cut it a little bit longer 
Because I'm telling you, I just need like, like, like literally almost nothing. I just need a little bit more to get over the hump. That way when I clamp it down, it's going to be solid. And it's not going to fall off. Because every time I tried clamping this one, it would kind of push out because it wasn't really going over that hump. Um, so yeah, so I went out, got this one. That's the only real complication I've had so far. Like 30 minutes later, I finally was able to position the hose correctly and able to screw in everything and this is the next step guys um, i believe i already talked about this and um, this goes on top of the turbo um, this goes into the block <laughs> <laughs> 